Today I'm going to briefly demo some of the features that are available inside of the L mode package for Emacs. To start off, I'm going to create a folder called hello. Inside of it, I'll create a file called main.l. Now I'm going to install the Elm HTML package. To do that, I'm going to hit Control C Medicaid to bring up the package manager. Um, it's going to say I don't have a package for my new project, so I'm just going to tell it to create one. That's going to take a second because it's um, downloading the Elm core package. And now I can just search for Elm HTML. Hit I to mark it for installation, and then X to actually perform the action. All right, now that that's done, I can define my package module main, where main is just the text hello. I can try to compile it. Now that failed because I haven't imported the text function yet, so I can just do that, import HTML exposing text. Compile again. That worked, but it's still complaining that I don't have a type annotation for main. So I can do that. Compile it again. And that was successful. So all of those compilation commands exported uh, the output to elm.js. I'm going to want to export it to index.html instead. So to do that, I can hit Control U, Control C, Control C. Tell it to export to index.html. There you can see that it did it. So now I can open index.html. And there we have it. Hello. Now this can get tedious. Um, so instead, I can use another feature of the Elm mode package, which is the Elm reactor integration. And just hit Control C return to have it run the reactor process and open up the um, main file inside of Brad, inside my browser. So now if I make a change and save it, go back to the browser and refresh, it'll automatically get updated. Another feature I like to look at is the REPL integration. So I can define a function uh, that takes a string, returns another string. Um, so all this function is going to do is append the exclamation mark to a string and save my file and then press Control C, Control L to load it inside the REPL. And now I can test my new function. You can see that works. So if I just change my main function a little bit. Save it and then refresh the reactor. We can see that everything still works fine. Now I'm going to try to build basic um, counter example. So to start off, let me remove the shout function. Just change this to hide to start with. Um, let's see. So our initial state is going to be zero. Our Going to define an action type. It just takes a no op, a anchor, decker. Uh, I'm going to define an update function that just takes an action, a model, and then returns a new model. So when we get a no op, we'll just return the current model. When we get a anchor, we'll return the model plus one. When we get a decker, return the model minus one. And let me just define a type alias. So the view for this is going to be fairly simple to start with. It's just going to display the model. And I'll try to 
pick this up. Let's see what the type of full P is. I can do that by pressing Control C, Control T. So full P takes a function from an A to a state to a state, and a state and some signal of A's. So we have our function, which is update. Um, we have our initial state. Now we just need that signal. So I can do that by creating an actions mailbox. And the initial action is just going to be a no op. If I try to compile this, this is going to fail because um, this is actually a signal of model. We want it to be a single a signal of HTML. So I can just signal map this over the view. And if I try to compile it, I need to import the div. Everything worked fine. Go back here, it's all zero. So I'm going to try to hook up the buttons. a little bit so that it takes a signal address of actions. I don't remember what on click looks like so I can just use control C control D it what the event on click is supposed to look like. So it takes an address and an A. Okay. So I can just give it actions and then anchor on click actions decker. And I can press control C control I to import events. here. Everything still works. And my buttons are hooked up. So this was just a brief introduction to the features that are available in Elm Mode. Um, I hope this was helpful. And thanks for watching.